This is unboxing of an Astra Track um, TT 320X AG. This is used for um, mounting a camera on a tripod so that it tracks at the same rate as stars appear to move in the sky so that you can take longer exposures on stars and capture more um, photons from space objects. So this is a quick unboxing video. I haven't seen any videos like this so far on YouTube. So here we have, oh we've got a first light. Um, so I bought it from Fly, First Light Optics web store. And then we've got, I think you can get this PDF online. It's got instructions in there about powering up, how to put it out, synchronise it, and make sure that it's pointing to the North Star, cleaning it, uh, and FAQ. And in the back I noticed there's instructions about not unscrewing the polar scope. So I hope that collimation is not going to be required. In the box we have, this is the power pack. I opted, to, you, could, you can get these for about two quid on eBay. But for simplicity, it being a bug, I paid I think an extra ten pound for this. But at least it's wired, um, and if anything, it, is, it looks does look a, a robust one. It's not really thin plastic, so if that's anything to go there. Um, we've also got slowing things down a bit. We've also got a car adapter into one of these plugs as well, and also I think previously you might have had to order these separately. Here's a tracking cable. To wire up to a um, some software to, to run tracking via um, sorry, guiding. In this pack, running really like things one handed as usual. And here, I finally got it open. And here's the polar scope. Um, it's quite well made. And I'm guessing that's the magnetic ring there. And this is the. Um, LED control. It was quite well made. I don't know it's made out of some sort of metal or something. So I'm guessing you screw that into the side there. And um, illuminates inside of it, let's say. Yeah, that's good. And then um, I move to the main part of it. So I couldn't find it anywhere online. I looked for about 10 minutes instructions on how this works and the dimensions of it so I'm quite curious to see the dimensions and that's how it comes it doesn't come with any other packing material apart from bubble wrap um, first thoughts quite loose at the moment I hope it bang around like it doesn't damage you in any way I need to read the manual, I think. That's what it comes with, that's how the gear works, anyway. And I think that should clip in, yeah, that clips inside like that. Yeah, it clips nice in the middle there. It was open when I first received it, as you saw. And this one. Closes on itself. Right. That's not a bad size. It says it's as long as your forearm. It's quite. It's quite big. So this is going to fix onto the tripod about here. Let's say with all this weight going downwards and a few, a couple of kilograms, a few kilograms. I would have thought. But it's probably a lot less heavy than some of the other mounts. I haven't tried anything like that. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Pretty good to go, actually. It's a nice design. Plastic's a bit cheap. A bit thin. But it's not bad. Because it's been engineered specially. There's a control unit there. There's quite a, I guess that's a 3 8 pin there and there. Top bit feels nice and robust. Yeah, it feels alright. It just feels a bit, a bit, 
a little bit flimsy, just a little bit. And I said the plastic front, the front I thought would be a bit, a bit, a bit better. Inside it, there's a tiny, just in the centre there, there's a tiny threaded rod. And then kind of two other rods on each side that aren't threaded that protect it. Plastic does sort of flash around a bit in the front there. I suppose it doesn't serve any practical purpose. That's it.